Okay, this is Paul at BF Engineering, and we are going to do our initial walkthrough of this uh, log splitter. It's a new design. <coughs> As you can see, it's a double wedge. It has a 10 second cycle time, which is uh, from here to here, and then 10 seconds back. With the log lift, we have a six and a half horse Kohler engine, and that is pushing a 13 gallon per minute hydraulic pump in there, two stage. When we get to 900 psi, we kick down to three gallons per minute. 5 inch cylinder, 24 inch stroke. <clears throat> That's a 10 by 10 square tubing. We have an oil reservoir that is the axle. We have torsion suspension, a pair rated for 1000 psi. You can see my shutoff here as well as this uh, drain, which is a magnetic plug drain to catch any metal filings, filter, Prince RD5000, single spool, power beyond, to our log lift control valve out here at the front. Wanted to put that there so we could operate the log lift from either side <coughs> of the machine. We have a 2-inch ball coupler, we have a support here, dual wheel on a 1,000-pound little pivot turntable, ball bearing. Log lift has a 3-inch by 9 cylinder on it. And well, let's start it up. fuel. Don't need a choke because it's been run a little. to use uh, low price components, not low quality, but uh, for example, 13 gallon per minute pump, as opposed to say a 22 or 28 gallon per minute pump that you might think you need for a five inch cylinder, also a six and a half horse engine, instead of a much larger expensive engine. It, uh, it works very well with these kind of uh, materials. And uh, have a look at my next uh, two videos to see it in action actually splitting logs. See for yourself whether or not you think we can get along with a six and a half horse engine and a 13 gallon per minute pump. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.